Well, there were high hopes that last night's federal's, federal leaders debate would create some clarity for Canadian voters on key issues. And while policy was certainly discussed, the night may end up being best remembered for its personal attacks. The six leaders took to the stage to debate one another for the first time in this campaign in English. The mudslinging came early, right off the top. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer wasted no time in targeting Justin Trudeau. He can't even remember how many times he put blackface on. Because the fact of the matter is, he's always wearing a mask. He puts on a reconciliation mask and then fires the Attorney General, the first one of Indigenous background. He puts on a feminist mask and then fires two strong female MPs for not going along with his corruption. He puts on a middle class mask and then raises taxes on middle class Canadians. Mr. Trudeau, you are a phony and you are a fraud and you do not deserve to govern this country. Public the Liberal the leader country. was frequently the focus, whether it was his government's environmental policy or the SNC-Lavalin affair, but he also got his own shots in. It was the first time that Maxime Bernier was on the debate stage, and Trudeau used the opportunity to draw a hard line connecting Andrew Scheer and his former Conservative colleague. We build this country together, and we want this country to be like that in 25 years. We love this country, and it's not because I want to have a discussion about immigration Mr. that I'm Bernier, radical. Only your role 6%, on this stage tonight only seems 6%. to be to say publicly what Mr. Scheer thinks privately. But when it came to one-liners, the night belonged to Jagmeet Singh. The new Democrat leader delivered some memorable quips, mostly at Andrew Scheer and Justin Trudeau's expense. What we have here is Mr. Trudeau and Mr. Scheer arguing about who's worse for Canada. Really, we should be... we got to start arguing. we got to, we got to start presenting who's going to be best for Canada. I want to say this directly to Canadians. You do not need to choose between Mr. Delay and Mr. Deny. There is another option. <laughs> All right, to break down what we heard last night, I want to bring in Evan Solomon, host of CTV's Question Period. Good morning, Evan. So Good the morning. morning after, when we look back at last night, can we say there was a clear winner? I don't know. It was trying to, like, find a $20 bill at the bottom of a mosh pit in a concert. It was, it was a mess in there. I guess someone had to win. Um, look, they have to define winning on each of their terms because they each had a strategy. There was no breakout winner. The format really made it tough to have any in-depth discussion, and it really was designed for a couple zingers here or there. So they summed up our entire process with each of them had less than 20 minutes to do it with a bunch of zingers. Look, Sheer came out of the gate, and his strategy was, people aren't going to watch this whole mess. I've got to attack Justin Trudeau with my greatest hits that he's a fraud and a phony. But it was interesting strategy and a gamble. Mr. Shear is actually a very likable guy, but he decided to discard the dimples and go for the angry suit. I'm going to be angry and I'm going to attack and I'm going to oppose more than I'm going to propose. Now, that's a very divisive strategy. Partisans like it, but can he grow his base? So that was his gamble. Trudeau thought, hey, I'm the prime minister. I'm the incumbent. I'm going to be above the fray. The problem for Trudeau is he risked being overshadowed. He almost faded away. And you can't run a front-runner's campaign unless you're the front-runner, and he's not. And then you had Jagmeet Singh and you saw him. You had some good zingers. But he thought, you know what? There's not a lot of depth in this debate. There's too little time. I'm going to go for likability. You know, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so he was quite likable and is widely seen to have won the debate. His problem is... There's less than two weeks left. Is there enough runway to actually make up the ground? Elizabeth May was Elizabeth May. I don't think she helped or hurt herself. And then, you know, you got the block Maxine, and, and Maxime yeah. Bernier, who were essentially disrupting the whole event, and it made it a real mess. So when it comes to Trudeau and Scheer, um, as you point out, we knew going in that this was going to be the main matchup of the night. Did either of them persuade voters to choose them on Election Day by their performance last evening? I don't think there was a breakout moment because they just didn't get enough time to really get into it. But look, if everybody knows Justin Trudeau, he was famous before he came into politics. So he, his goal was the Hippocratic Oath. Do no harm. Don't try to offend people. But did he do enough? He kind of breathlessly listed his accomplishments. But did he do enough to regain Canadians' trust? Again, Sheer is dying for the ballot box question. And that's what last night was about. 
putting a frame around the other guy. And the ballot box question for Sheer is, do you trust Justin Trudeau or, or is he a phony? If that becomes the ballot box, last night was a victory for Andrew Sheer. But if the ballot box question is, who do you like enough and trust enough on the big issues like climate, Mr. Sheer didn't do enough. It usually takes 48 hours for the dust to settle. And I think around Thanksgiving, when we're all carving our turkeys up, we'll have a little family discussion and find out who Canadians really like. So, Evan, there has been a lot of talk about a minority government. Did you see any potential alliances develop last night? Well, we know Jagmeet Singh has already said, I will not work with the Conservatives. So the Conservatives only have one dance partner in a minority situation, and that's the Bloc Quebecois. We won't know until Thursday, and here's why. Last night, the Bloc was on stage, but they don't care about English Canada. They're not running candidates outside of Quebec. But on Thursday night, it matters because Justin Trudeau needs to win Francophone votes off the island of Montreal if he has any real hope of recreating a majority government. And his biggest barrier there is not just Jagmeet Singh, because his polls are fading in Quebec, but is the Bloc Quebecois. So expect that dynamic to be very different on Thursday night. And if there's a minority government, obviously the uh, NDP and the Liberals are the natural allies. And Jagmeet Singh, if he drops seats from the current 39, he could save his political career by losing seats, but being the balance of power. And you saw Elizabeth May literally praying to God there was a minority government because that would make her more relevant like yeah. the Greens are in British Columbia. So, look, no breakouts yet, no path to a majority, one more debate. And, uh, you know, I like to run marathons and I love politics. But after last night, I wondered, why do I do either of those things? They're both so painful. <laughs> oh, we still have more than, well, a little bit over two weeks left. Thank you so much, Evan. You have a great day. Glad Gert, you could be with us. We'll see too. you soon.